All right, hello everybody. So, I caught up. We're here, yay. I don't know how I'm gonna split these videos. I mean, I think the first part was a good 30 minutes. So I might split them apart like that. I have such a bad time remembering to do outros that when I do edits, I gotta figure out how to cut parts apart. I don't know. <laughs> Should I start doing an outro? Be like, you beautiful people. Like, comment, subscribe for more shenanigans. Anyways, I did everything I did the first time around. I read the journal, which I hopefully, more than likely, slipped in to the last part. And I got the recording from the little room. Just so I don't have to do everything all over again. Again. And I'll just do it in the third slot. So I have a backup to go back to, in case of anything. Um, why is this room so red? It feels like there's something I'm missing here. To like pick up. But I don't think there is. I don't understand colors. Um, so we gotta go to the main hall. main hall in order to go upstairs to the library so we can learn what happened to the twins that gave me oh shit wait that's the door I can go through dentist room where yeah right there Is that? I'm so good. Okay, cool. Maybe if they go down on the floor, I can run up and crowbar them. I'm gonna try that next time. September 17th, um, 1941. As I crept quietly behind my father, the clock struck 1.30 a.m. So I mentioned the mausoleum after placing three elements on some kind of board. He went through quietly. I followed them at a distance, trying not to make a sound, for I did not want to be caught. At mother's tomb, my father sank to his knees and rested his hands in the cold, sculpted marble figure of his wife. He began praying. I felt guilty following him, seeing the cold and calculated man this way moved me. I was about to leave when my father stood up and approached the angel statue. Mother's marble tomb moved slowly to the side and exposed a narrow staircase leading into darkness. He climbed down the stairs. I hesitated for a moment, my legs not wanting to take another step, but was able to stand and follow him down. Once inside, I heard metallic sounds and the echo of running water. A few moments later, I bumped into a ladder. I climbed down and found myself in a long stone tunnel covered in pipes and sewage. I saw Father Silhouette turning a corner and hardly followed. Before me appeared a huge metallic door and a group of men wearing strange suits like those worn to protect from radioactivity. Each carried a giant hammer. My father joined the group and they received him by hitting their hammers together. A hospital bed on each side of the group carried what appeared to be bodies covered in sheets. My father put on one of these disturbing suits. In my frightened stupor, I loosened a brick from the wall. It smashed against the floor with the sound of a thousand buildings crashing down. They felt their eyes turn to me as I fled back the way I'd come. The guttural voices screaming to catch me while they hit their hammers on the ground. What the frick, frick, pallywag? Is this the other heart? Tis it is! Good thing I killed that guy. It would have been really annoying to dodge him while looking at this stuff. There's just those tablets. I guess nothing for me. 
Yeah, I'm really glad I killed that guy because I was able to explore this room a bit. Surgical tools that don't appear to be in good condition. I mean, at least I think the guy's dead. I don't think that their body's gonna stay around. Oh, sweet, yeah. So good, right? Yeah. If I can dodge him because I don't need anything in the room, I will. But if it looks like I gotta look around the room, I'd rather do it without the pressure. I don't know how melee combat's gonna be in this game. Ooh, nice. Look at that help. Just, is that with... It is with surgical tools. Hell. Like, what went down in here? Oh, that's all that is to this room? Okay. Remember who's waiting for me up there. That was a bit unfair. He was literally humping that. I don't know how much morphine takes. This is minor, so I guess it's okay to use it when I'm unconscious. Just not when I'm in danger. Maybe I get something better for that. Oh, I was spitting at me. Oh, this is where I started. Okay. So this is where I started. So I'm close to the main hall. What is my inventory items? Hex socket. Padlock. Yeah, because I can't use this until I find the other half. And I forgot where this was supposed to be placed. It's supposed to be placed in a door, I think, that I found earlier. I can always look at my old footage to remind myself where. Freaking. Wait, it's blocked. Ah, shit. Ah! Does it fit in the baby? work. Alright, that's my combination then. Shoot him down and then whack him dead. other rooms are kind of closed but that one's not this one is locked but the other one isn't it just needs pressure applied to it to go through it so since this game feels very old school I'm literally just using tank controls I wonder how many people played this with tank controls 
if many played this. I don't think I've seen many people play this game. waiting room, which means it's right where those two guys are at. And I'm in caution. Do I want to take the risk? This isn't Chris's blood. I know I make the joke about how this game seems very inspired by Resident Evil. I know I keep making Resident Evil jokes. I'm sorry. I don't really have much of a map in this area, but I hope it's safe to look around. Looks like it is. I can go behind the desk to investigate. There's a door. I saw the library was second floor, so. I'm only kind of checking out if there's any items to pick up. See, like that. That's important. Old pay phones are out of service. I want to go through these doors unless I have to. Because then I'm going to end up wandering all over the place and get lost. And no piano, sadly, I don't know how to play. If I did, I'd play Moonlight Sonic. Alright, so father said second floor. So let's go straight to second floor unless I absolutely have to go anywhere else. Okay, noted. Sculpture of an angel comforting her grieving sister. That area is broken. Are these doors? They are. Gotta be one of those doors, though. Meeting room. I don't hear anything. I should be a worried about, so I think I'm safe to explore. Locked on the other side. That's a floor. Am I supposed to twist it on the ground? A calendar. 1984, December 16th. I 
kind of VHS tape. Oh, hot diggity dab. I like how dark that got. <laughs> place or morphine can't open it cool I am NOT going past the night with the jiggling sword how do I know the swords aren't real and the moment I pass through it it'll cut me in half that's all I need oh is the one area that's closed the library shit It's worth going to that. I can't really drop the lighter. sucks dick. I was hoping I could run through it, but this guy's literally the fastest scissorer I've met. And I'm not passing by those knights. They're sketchy as frick. Uh, let us check the other side of the second floor. It would be nicer to me. So the second floor is a bus. I'm going to have to explore the first floor. Is that what you're telling me? That's where I came from. It's also a downstairs. Which is completely dark. Four goblins. Where is he? There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! I can save, apparently. God, I hate how tiny the map is for my eyes, and I have to get up every time to look at it. 
It's either that or squint. Where's the other one at? No, he saw me. Or he didn't see me. He did? Oh, he's just pacing back and forth. Okay, that's just his wife's walk cycle. That's his wife's. A smashed statue of Jesus. It looks like it fell off the cross. That one's getting an eternity of bad luck. This is a strange camera angle. So what's the significance of this broken ass statue? There. comes to shove and I run out of ammo. I'll smack everything with a crowbar. I'm no coward! Okay, so the locked area takes me here. Apparently there's a store connected to the kitchen. All right, so then if I go, so that means that the other door takes me here to the archives. I don't know what that indicates. Maybe I need, I need like a key to get through. I didn't see, oh, that, so the stairs also takes me to like, I think an elevator and the studio, which seems to be a safe zone. Okay. Try to get my bearings of where the hell I am. something in the freezer you know what I'm gonna make a note about that cuz I might forget about it where's my pen all right freezer and kitchen item just a note to remind myself cuz I might forget You won't leave this place. Thanks! I need that kind of encouragement in my life. Oh. Trash has been left to pile up. To be fair, who would come in here and pick up the trash? Especially when uh, this place is known to take eyeballs. The store. That is a sketchy ass light, dude. Oh shit. items. I don't trust the lady in this area. Alright, so note to self. Guys in the wheelchair, I might not be able to melee as easy as the missing leg guys. Those pack a whole lot of punch. 
I don't know what to do with these guys. What is this? The name of the truth comes out. Okay. Um, yeah, these wheelchair guys are gonna be a pain in the ass, especially if I tried the 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 crowbar tactic. It's not gonna work. So if I end up having to do melee, these guys I'm gonna have to avoid for dear life because they will not accept crowbar attacks unless I'm quick enough because it seems like they're stuck in place since they're in a wheelchair swinging. So if I can time my jump back, cause I can jump back with the crowbar, right? Yeah. So if I can just time my jump back, I may be able to swoop around them, smack them and then do a jump back again. If I have to rely on the crowbar for melee, I'm putting it together. Putting it together. I just gotta be careful of those guys without legs. They, uh, they spit. That won't be so easy to just casually go back up on. Because they spit straight. Oh. Is that a floppy disk that's needed? Ah, oh, they got ammo. Mwah. <laughs> connected to it's connected to this room that's connected to a closet what is this room is it unlocked oh, it is now shit what's in here This leads back up here. So I have to go like all around in order to go up here to the safe zone, which I should really head to. Turn back to this closet for a battery. All right, so I gotta remember battery freezer. Battery freezer. to be able to play this alongside uh, Resident Evil Zero. Just having a survival horror <laughs> few days. I understand that survival horror isn't everyone's cup of tea, so I don't, you know, so if you guys don't want to watch, it's fine. Didn't I pick up, like, two clips? Why am I at eight? Is that what it says?
Tetris? Okay, so I'm in the safe zone. Welcome to the safe zone. As we still try to get to the stupid library. Why is it dark? I'm gonna trash the hell out of this place. Here's my little tape recorder. Shotgun shells. I'm gonna be preserving the shotgun as all hell. Like, I'm gonna barely use that shotgun unless it's a life or death kind of boss fight. I, I will. I don't want to waste those babies. Why is that door lead to? In this hallway. In this hallway takes to the shower and laundry room. There's also stairs if they're available. I can go here. And then there's the service area. Yeah, so every time I see this, I just have to know that this is a keyed area. Like right there, that's a key area. But I haven't unlocked. I still need the tape there. Haven't been to that safe room. Uh, keyed area. There's another key area in the pharmacy. You shouldn't have come here. Well, who made me come here? The next spray image showed a heart. The figure seems familiar. <laughs> it's me. Imagine. All right, are we gonna say an interesting tidbit when we save? it was just for the one time um I think I might end the part here um I hope you guys enjoyed I remember to do an outro this time um holy shit it is dark uh, I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed the part um, and I'll see you guys in the next one, you know? You know the usual shtick. You subscribe, hit the bell for notifications of the next stuff. Um, like, comment. My descriptions usually have my Twitter and Twitch and stuff like that. So if you guys want to check those out, you can.